Welcome back to the Furman Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14 following a tough loss to the South Carolina Gamecocks. We're going to be facing the Georgia Southern Eagles, man. This team has shown flashes of greatness with a lot of great players they assemble here. They're 6-3 and three at the moment, 3-3 three and three in the Sun Belt. And their offense, top 50 in yardage and top 30 in running the ball on the ground. Defensively, Pretty decent also. They're in the top 20 on the defensive side of the ball and in the top 10 in stopping the run. We also have some great young prospects showing up today to visit the Paladins. Jeremiah Liston, three-star running back coming in to check us out. Also, Mike Wyatt, a three-star wide receiver. And BJ Cobbs, a three-star offensive tackle, man. Hoping to sign one of these guys by the end of the week. And the top talent for Georgia Southern is Greenwood, the left guard, who was out with an injury. And Miranda, strong safety, 91 overall. And the wide receiver McDaniel, who's having a great season. So the injury report has Robbie Clark listed as out with a broken hand, as you guys know from last week, 11 weeks. And Pollard is still out with that knee cartilage tear for one more week. And Georgia Southern has their best player, the left guard, Greenwood, out for two weeks with a broken collarbone. And McDonald, their outside linebacker, out with a broken wrist for the rest of the season. And James, their free safety, broken tibia, he's probable. So he could be playing today. And now it's time to get to the game, baby. Night games are the best. I like the way that stands seem like they light up at night. And Coach McGruff gets riled up. So out of the gun early, Cedric Smith, one of the top young talents at quarterback in the Sun Belt, hands it off to Gore, and he rumbles forward for seven yards. So we're going to be looking to stop these guys in the run again. We know they're very good, and Gore gets to the edge. Their wide receivers are making big blocks, and he goes out of bounds at a 45. So... He play action fakes and gets it to Nelson. He breaks a tackle. They have some big running backs, man. That's one thing we got to focus on. Not giving up big plays out of the backfield. And a big tackle there from Flynn to get Smith in the backfield. So third and four. He's going to try to run up the gut, but we get him down for a sack. And we're going to get our first shot at it. So boy is going to hand it out to Jennings, who will get his first start of the season. Last game, he showed us some signs of greatness. And we're going to hand it off to him again. He finally found some room, only six yards, so it's third and six. So slant routes across the middle. And Boyd goes down with a sack. Both teams' series ended with a sack on third down, and Smith is back out here with it again. And he run out the gut. He's going to start using his legs, and he got a first down. And the motion is Kelly. And Smith is going to keep it here. We're on top of him, but Kelly, the wide receiver, found some room. And that's a first down, man. These guys are incorporating everyone in their running game. And he's going to give it to Nelson this time. The big running back looking like Derrick Henry out there. He gets a big gain, and that's 14 yards. And Smith drops back. Oh, he escapes the pressure, breaks a tackle, but we stopped him before he got to the goal line. So third and two of the gut, Gore is not going anywhere, and it's fourth and four, and they're going to have to go for a field goal. And the field goal is good, and they get the first points on the board. So we got to answer back, baby. Let's go. So, boy, you're going to have to step up, baby. We need some big numbers from you. The pass is almost deflected, but Brown breaks a tackle, and he found some more room, and he goes out of bounds, baby. Big 16-yard reception. So another play-action play. And Boyd is rolling out. Where is he going with it? He's just taking a shot. Oh, look at Williams pulled it down with three wide receivers versus one DB. Throw it up in the air. And look at Jennings running that thing, baby. Almost gets a first down, but he goes down with only one yard left. And he gets it up the gut this time. And that's a touchdown. Jennings, seven-yard TD. Gets our first score, and it comes on the ground, baby. That's why we started you this week. And first and 10 out here in the second quarter. Smith taking it up the gut once again. Breaking tackles and falling forward for a seven-yard rush. So they're keeping it on the ground. Smith is using his legs now, following his blocks, making big runs, and get 17 yards there. So he's going to launch that one. And look at Hogan, baby, the interception. And can we go all the way with it? The senior, Hogan, the strong safety, will get the touchdown baby pick six that's how you open up a game Cedric Smith will think twice about putting that thing in the air once again 
So second quarter still five minutes and 50 seconds left. Branch gets it and it's a first down. And we're going to give it to Jennings up the gut. And he found some room. And that should be another first down. Let's move it, baby. It's a boy up on the center by himself. And he finds Wills off the edge. Big hit. But an eight-yard reception will take it. Just hold on to the football. And Jennings up the gut once again. Yes, sir. That rhythm, baby. We're getting the rhythm, finally. We're trying to bounce back this week. We want to get another win, man. We're still number 10. And we're trying to get into a BCS game. So here on third down, we need another one. And boy, launches that one. But at the foot of Smith, man, you got to do better, baby. Lift that ball up a little bit. So we're going to kick a field goal here. Bree Love knocks it in. And that's another three points for us. 17-3. to Smith hands it to Gore. Rumbling, baby. A first down. This running game is almost unstoppable. And Gore gets it once again. Wide open field. And all he does is fall forward. So we're going to start sending some pressure from the secondary, man. These guys are running the ball at will against us. And Moore with a big grab breaks a tackle and he up the sideline. But the 15-yard reception was stopped there at the 18. And Smith once again taking a shot. Oh, man, what a great pass. How did he catch that? I don't know. So Smith out of the gun once again. Hands, I think, off the goal, but we on top of it. You ain't going nowhere, young fella. So third and goal. They got to get it in the end zone. And Nelson, no. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Oh, we stood him up, baby. The DBs had to stand him up because the defense of Lyman couldn't pull him down. Big hit there to force these guys to another field goal. We're not giving up touchdowns, baby. Only field goals. And he knocks that one in, and we back with it. Second quarter still, one minute left. Boy launches that when he gets it to Tutton, who takes a big hit, but he's able to get up. Tuttons was able to break the school record for most receiving yards in a career, baby. He is now the record holder, and we're ready to put some more yards on that thing to make Tuttons the best receiver Furman ever had. And boy, gets it to Smith there. It's going to be third and two. See if we can capitalize on this play. And no, sir. We go down with a sack, and it's going to be halftime. The score is 17 to 6. The 10th ranked Paladins are having a tough time against Georgia Southern. But we're looking to pull away in the second half. Right here in the second half, baby. You know we hit them with that play action fake, baby. Launch that thing and look at Tuttons. Pulls it down. No matter who's in front of him. No matter how hard you hit him, he's holding on to it. And Jen is out the gut with a nice eight-yard rush. And Boyd, nice fake. Ooh, look at Branch. I thought he was going backwards, but he's able to get us that first down. And Branch, nice spin move to make these guys miss and get us seven yards. So we're going to hit him with a read option here. Boy, will keep it. And that's another first down. So in the backfield, Boyd gets that thing to Williams. And he goes out of bounds. Eight-yard reception, second and two. So a nice little counter play here. Let's see what we can do with it. Yes, sir. Keep it tight and get us that first down. So third and ten. Six minutes left. Boyd takes a shot and Day pulls it down. I don't know how Boyd got it in there, but we'll take it. So the gut is Jennings, and he falls forward for a six-yard rush, third and three. Can Big Hawk get in the end zone here? And Hawk gets stood up at the two-yard line, only for a one-yard rush. We're going to have to kick another field goal. But this one will put us up by two scores. That's 14 points, baby. Let's go. So Smith will keep it here. And another nine-yard rush for him. He's having a great day on the ground, but he's not able to put it in the air as much. And he blows past the defensive end for another first down. So out of the gun. Smith with it again. So now he's going to have to pass it. And he got a guy wide open. McDaniel, his best receiver. And he goes down after a 31-yard reception. So Kelly in motion. Okay, they're going to keep it. They're going to keep it. He pitched it that time. But we on top of it, baby. We saw that play earlier in the game. 
And Smith, once again with it, steps up in the pocket, finds Cooper. But he drops it, a big drop. And we're going to get another shot at it, baby. We're going to get another shot at it. And look at Smith. Pull that thing down. Boy, I saw you screaking, baby. He saw it. So a play action fake here will catch these guys off guard. But no, Boyd takes a big hit, and it's a fumble, and Turner picks it up, and he's going the other way. The linebacker is moving, baby. I don't think anybody's catching him, and that's a touchdown. That will bring him closer, man. Now it is really a game. Daniel Turner able to scoop and score. Number 50. Hey, that's probably his first career touchdown. So we're going to return it here, baby. We're going to return it. And what are we doing? Almost muffed this one, but Hawk get it, and he kicks it to the edge. And I don't think anybody's going to catch him, man. This kid has burners. He hits the fifth gear, and nobody is going to be close enough to get him. And that's a touchdown, baby. Great way to answer back. 100-yard return. Charlie Hawkins, his first kickoff return of his career. Hey, we got a lot of guys on this team with a lot of talent, man. A lot of talent. And look at Smith. He launches this one. But come on, Kurt. You got to pull them down, baby. You got to pull them down. That would have been a pick six for you. And back with it again, Smith. Takes a shot deep. Kirk 101. Still can't pull down the interception. Two deflections, though. Two deflections. So third and ten. We got some pressure on Smith. And yes, sir, the DBs get the safety. And now the score is 29 to 13. So let's see what Smith is going to do here with one minute left. Back against the wall once again. We can't get another safety. But they do get a big first down. But it's not going to mean anything. 16-yard reception. Hey, that looks nice on the stat sheet. But it's not going to do anything in the game. And look at that big hit there. Cedric Smith taking those hits, baby. Them blows. And let's go. So the secondary will bring the pressure. And another big hit on Cedric Smith, man. I know he can't wait till this game is over. And guess what, guy? You still got one more play to go. So we're going to send the house at you once again. And can we get another sack? Yes, sir. Sling him down. And that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to go up the gut with it. And my boy Hawk is back there. Do you want another touchdown, Hawk? Hawk has a kickoff return for a touchdown. And that will be us rushing touchdown for him. And he's doing his thing, baby. A big game for him. And Smith is still back here trying to get his team something. And he takes a big, deep shot. And Kirk Morris finally gets that interception he was waiting on. And he's going to try to make something out of it. And he gets some room to the edge, cuts it up. But he will go down at the 30. And that's the ball game, folks. Boy, you did pretty well, man. You played a pretty good game. But the player of the game is Charlie Hawkins. 132 all-purpose yards, a touchdown on the ground, and a touchdown on special teams. Yo, Furman Pound is bounced back after that loss to South Carolina, which was heartbreaking. But Robbie Clark, we miss you, bro. But Mark Boyd is trying to do something for us. One interception this game. No touchdowns. 204 yards pass. Hey, four sacks, though. He can't do what you do, Robbie, but he's going to hold us in a row, baby, and hopefully get us back into BCS bowl contention. And the running game, Jennings, 19 carries, 89 yards, pretty good, boy, pretty good. I like that. Might leave you in there one more week to see what else you can do for us. And the passing game really didn't get much going. No touchdowns passed for. Most receptions came from Branch. And Tuttons was able to break the school receiving yard record, and that's always great. And three sacks for Sanchez, man. Two for Bennett out of the secondary. Hey, we've been looking pretty well, man. We've been looking pretty good. And Fleming got one in Terrell and Flynn, man. We was all over Smith, bro. Cedric was like, hey, coach, help me out. Throw the ball some time. Get rid of it. Stop making me take all this punishment. Can we do some draw plays? And Kirk Morris got an interception and Tyler Hogan got an interception. Man, what a great game for the Furman Paladins. We back in the winning column, and we're ready to go up from here, baby. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button, that notification bell. Hey, and subscribe to the channel, man. Let's get it. Let's go.